There's a new solution to an age-old problem. Aortic stenosis is a common heart ailment brought on by aging. It's a condition where the aortic valve hardens and calcifies. And with loss of flexibility of the valve, blood can't push the valve aside to get out of the heart. Until now, there were few options to treat advanced cases. And it can be a progression over even 10 years. As it becomes very severe, then symptoms develop very rapidly. Your survival could be less than 50% in two years. In November, the FDA approved a groundbreaking procedure to fix these broken hearts. It's called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR. Lee Memorial Health System is the first in the state to perform it outside of clinical trials. It is the biggest advancement I've seen in cardiology and cardiothoracic surgery since the introduction of coronary stent. 30 years ago. TAVR builds on technology used to open heart blockages. An artificial valve is threaded through a catheter in the groin. In the same way a stent is inserted with an angioplasty, the new valve is put into position. Once we position the valve in the aortic valve area and we expand the balloon so that that valve is deployed and it functions as a normal aortic valve. A trio of local doctors are approved in the TAVR procedure. Their training was paid for by an anonymous donor. The surgery is performed here in a dedicated operating theater. It takes under an hour and takes the place of what used to be a last resort open heart surgery. There are almost like 300,000 people that need aortic valve replacements. More than one third of them, they don't qualify for, for any kind of surgery. Sometimes aren't even referred to cardiologists because they're elderly and their family doctors think they're not a candidate for uh, open surgery. But now with this introduction of minimally invasive or percutaneous valve technique, and at least, you know, uh, they have the option. Making TAVR a new procedure, giving new hope to heart patients. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.